You're not a, a robot, you're human, just like me. I can make the mistake just like you. <clears throat> the most important thing is, is that we identify firstly what we're doing is haram. Secondly, we look at ourselves first. We don't look to go and get advice. We look at ourselves first and try to try to find the answers within of how to leave what we are doing. If we're struggling to find these answers and if we haven't got the resources, if we haven't got the people around us, then we look to the community, the masjid, the people of knowledge, and we go in search of the cure. Ultimately, the cure is Islam. The fact that you're doing it or have done it is not the problem anymore. The sin's been done. The, the, the issue here is what are you going to do tomorrow and the day after and the day after? The answer to that question is simple for me, is however light the drug is or however uh, insignificant it seems at that point is not the concern, the concern is what it's going to lead to. So don't be worried about, oh, but it's okay if I do just that. Be more worried about that, what, 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 don't, you won't be worried about it because I'm going to make you worried about it now. Is that it's not the fact that you'll be vaping, it's not the fact that you'll be doing the light drugs, it's the fact that you could potentially jump onto the harder drugs that are going to destroy your life, they're going to destroy your soul and they're going to ruin everything around you. If you have a family, it will be taken away from you. If you have wealth, it will be squandered. If you have health, it will be lost. So before you even think about embarking on a journey that is that is potentially the most big, the biggest mistake you could ever make is think about the consequences. And try to educate us to not uh, do bad